Today's video is all about the in-game economy and why it's a waste of time. And uh, right now there's a battle going on that I'm not a part of. Enemies just attack each other and I'm just gonna, I get the loot for some reason because they don't want it. So that's a free 350 uh, silver. But I'm gonna talk about the economy and I'm just AFK here just collecting free money. But uh, that, that's a topic for another, <laughs> you know, another day. And uh, yeah, they're gonna just keep fighting here basically indefinitely, just constantly reinforcing. But anyway, let's talk about the economy and what does that mean? So this game has a mechanic where certain zones have plentiful supplies and other zones have supplies in demand. So if I go all the way down here, and if you ever want to see this for yourself when you're playing, just, you have to have a certain zoom level. It's like, n this is too close, but zoom out a little bit more. And when you mouse over or you put your cursor over certain areas, you'll see a black outline. Well, if I put mine over this in Le Royale, or however you say this, you'll see that this zone has vanilla in plentiful supply, all right? So that means you can come here and you can buy vanilla on the cheap. They will sell it to you at a discount. But all the way up here at the very tippy top of the map, if I hover my mouse over here and it's a little harder for this zone, you'll see that highest in demand is vanilla. That means that these guys will pay way more money if I sell them vanilla than normal. So you would think, oh, well, why don't you just buy out all the vanilla down here and then travel all the way up to the top and get and, you know, sell your vanilla. And uh, you would think that would be, you know, profitable, but it's it's not. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to show you why. So in this game, there are fast travels. For instance, if uh, I can't show you fast travel because I'm not in the town, but if I were to fast travel right here at the Obliet, which is the closest fast travel to this town, well, unless there's something in the clouds here, but um, it's essentially the fast, the fastest way. I would fast travel here, sail here, buy the vanilla, sail back, and then fast travel all the way up. Well, I did that already, and the cost of both fast travels was 450 and 680. So it is about a, it's over 1,100 silver just for the fast traveling. Now, if you ride manually, like the thing is, is there's not infinite vanilla here for sale. There's only 10 vanillas. And they were on sale for 63 silver each. So, when I come here at this part of town, and I don't want to plunder right now, uh, and I want to sell the, the vanillas, I had a few extra on me, but I did buy 10 from that town. Well, one vanilla sells for 130 right now. And just to make sure, uh, yeah, this is uh, the, the up green arrow means that they are paying extra for it. So, uh, essentially, you know, I paid 63, I'm making 130, I'm basically doubling my money by doing this, if I don't fast travel. Now, if I do fast travel, and the cost of the vanilla, I don't make my money back, because if I just sell the vanilla right now, if I sold 10 vanillas, I make 1,300. Well, if it costs me 1,000 just to fast travel, and then 630 for the vanillas, I'm down like 300 silver. So, uh, this is technically a way to make fast traveling a little cheaper if you need to do it. Or you can just not waste your time and worry about it. Because there are way quicker ways to get silver in this game. Like, just sitting around near a town while enemy ships blow each other up. And there we go. You know, that's 300 and something silver right there. And a bunch of other loot that's worth money that you could sell. You know, and use it for crafting. And these guys will just, like... These, uh, what are these dudes? Hold on, let me zoom. Yeah, they're just going to, uh, <laughs> uh, continuously attack the red guys, and the red guys are going to continuously come in and attack the, these guys. So, I could just sit here and collect loot, and it looks like there's, there's even more loot somewhere on the ground here. But, um, other than that, there's, there's way other, oh, yeah, there it is. More loot. See, I've already made, <laughs> also, did I, I just got a, I just got a cannon. Hold on, I just got a rare cannon drop. What is this? Ooh, that's good. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even have to do anything. Oh, man. That's interesting. I want... Oh, look. Even more. There's just so much money here. I All I've been doing is sitting here for about 10 minutes. Not even that long. And I've already made a thousand silver. So that's a that's a secret way to make money there. Oh, I don't want to ramble. Eh. Oh, no. Loot some nutmeg. <laughs> I knocked some nutmeg out of a ship. But no. The, the other way to make money is... You see here we have uh, these... Uh, shipwrecks that's probably one of the easier ways to make money is you just go to the shipwreck and i've already looted that one i'm pretty sure 
But each each shipwreck, and these are just small ones, but like big ones have more. And they have like anywhere from three to five hundred silver in them each. And you you can get a whole row of shipwrecks. Let me show you, like over here on the map. And this is not a shipwrecks video, but like just just right here. Look at all. Hold on, I zoomed in too far. Look how many shipwrecks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shipwrecks. You go down here. There's eight, nine. And then there's a tenth one. And by the time that you come down here and loop back around, these are all respawned, or you just log out and log back in. So that's, you know, that's three to five thousand silver in minutes, okay, without any paying fast travels, without having to buy low and sell high. So right now, while the in-game economy thing, it's kind of neat how, you know, they have it set up, and you would think it would be really nice. At the end of the day, what is this boat just AFK here? Yeah, okay, weird. At the end of the day, it's just not worth doing. Like, there's just no reason to bother or think about it or do all the work to, like, buy low and sell high. But, like, look, I can just force this thing open and look how much money I just get. 312 right there, plus a bunch of other ingredients, which I could sell if I wanted to, so it's technically a bit more. But, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, just harvesting... Oops, I failed. But just, just harvesting, like, wood and stuff and refining it, and you can sell that, you can trade it. There's missions that you can just... Turn this crap in for tons of money. That's another thing. Also, bounties. You do, like, one bounty, it takes five minutes. That's six to nine thousand silver. And <laughs> I don't know why anyone would, would bother with the economy stuff. There's just really no point. And finally, you could just blow up a bunch of ships, you know? Like, these guys are just filled with money. There's no reason not to just blast them open. And, uh, yeah, let's just board them. There we go. So, I just immediately shotgunned them, and then boarded his ship and then I get a bonus 217 there and then when he blows up that's another loot bag which uh the loot is like slowly trickling out and look like these guys are just gonna sit around like this is two separate factions here you know I can just unload on everybody make everyone pissed off at me if I want and uh, you know just just drop some bombs on them and these bombs th they cost pennies ammo costs pennies in this game all right I don't know if at the very end of the game they're gonna start costing more but yeah I am uh, and repair kits are insanely cheap too. Like I, I made, I could from that shipwreck I, we just looted. You know that's a ton, you know, of, of repair kits right there. Go ahead and blast this guy. So that he's dead. And you don't need like a super powerful ship. Like you can get the ship that I'm showing on the screen here in the very first day of the game. Like making silver is insanely easy in this game. And, uh, yeah, I'm just spamming, I'm just blasting, like, <laughs> I'm just chilling. Throw fireballs, oh boy. <laughs> oh, man. They're on fire, oh no. And, uh, you know what? I'm, uh, I, let's get moving, because I'm starting to take a lot of damage here. But, uh, you can see, you know, I'm, I'm just able to scoop up a ton of loot here. And, uh, make tons of money. And, yeah, I did aggro two enemy factions all at once. These guys are running. They have the little run icon above their head. Oh, the tower's hitting me, yeah. You don't want to do this around a tower. Those things can really just start, like, hurting bad. But there's, again, you have infinitely more and better ways to make money <laughs> than uh, trying to do the economy stuff. The, 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 don't even bother with the economy stuff. I know there was still loot over there, uh, but I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to skedaddle out because there's a lot of towers in this area, and I don't want to deal with them. Let's go ahead and block all of that. There we go. Okay. Anyway, so that's the video, and uh, please don't waste time doing economy stuff. Now, if you do it in mass, like, if you play this game for months at a time, and you just have, like, 8,000 vanillas sitting around, then sure, go turn them in, you know? You want to sell those vanillas? I don't have time to harvest. I'm being, I'm in combat. <laughs> uh, well, they're too far away anyway. They, they really can't get me at this point. But essentially... Yeah, if you save up like 9,000 vanillas and you want to sell them all at once to the highest bidder, that's totally fine. Yeah, go ahead and do that. But but to buy low and sell high? No. Unless you just have a ton of money and you just want to like invest it or something, I wouldn't risk that. A lot of these MMOs, and I don't know if you can even call this an MMO, it's like, I think I've ever, the most I've seen is like four or five players in one zone. All the towers hate me today. Yeah, I just, I just started blasting, I know. Okay, just block all that. Get out of here, towers. Stop it. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Go out there, make you some silver the, the efficient way. Don't bother doing it the dumb way with the economy crap. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Mwah. Click the video on the right side of the screen, will you? It really helps out.